Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get um, your front ready for me to embroider. So you need your all your front squares sew together. And then the first thing you're gonna do is mark a little center spot for me because I have to put that into my machine and line it up with the center. So how you do that is just go ahead and measure your square, which mine's five inches, yours should be about that. And you make a little mark at two and a half. And then go down this way, four, two. So you can see here, I used chalk and I just drew a little spot for me so that I can line my machine up and that your embroidery will be perfectly centered. So you can use this white chalk, which is in a drawer that says chalk on it. There's um, blue chalk, there's other colors, but be careful with it because it may stain. So you might wanna ask me first if you're not using white. Okay, so once you have a center spot, then the next thing you wanna do is there's this can and it looks like this and it's sitting on the table and in it has two things, your embroidery order form, which is this thing, and then the stabilizer. It's called stabilizer and it's this right here. I've already cut it out to the approximate size that you'll need. Now, if you look at it, we're gonna work with the stabilizer first. So if you look at it closely, you'll notice one side is shiny. I don't know if you can see that with my video here. One side is shiny, this one's the shiny side, and then this side's not. You're gonna take the shiny side, it's got sticky on it, and it's heat transfer sticky. So what you do is you flip over your back, which is all ironed and flat, right? You take the sticky side, the shiny side, down, and put it right there on the square, just like that. Then you're gonna take your iron and you're just gonna press this down. I'm trying to video myself and do this at the same time, so bear with me. Okay, so press it down like this. And it should stick. Okay, might need to dry a little bit or warm up, cool off, whatever. It'll stay, okay? Just so it's stuck on there like that. And then that's set for me. I need the stabilizer on the back because my embroidery machine needs more stability in order for the stitches to stay in. So that's getting the fabric set. So as you look on your form here, I'll jump down here, it says prep fabric. Iron a four by five piece of white stabilizer to the back of the square you want embroidered. Shiny side to the back of the fabric. That's what I just did. On the front, measure the square and then place a chalk dot at the center point. So I've just completed prep the fabric. All right, so once you've done that, got your dot, got your stabilizer, now you can fill out your form. Well, I filled out my form like this. So make sure you have your first and last name and your block. And then you're gonna put in this section what you want me to embroider. Now remember, I only gave you one, two, three, four, five spots. Anything more than that, um, you gotta talk to me about because it may not work. This is a really small area to embroider. So you're gonna write the letters, one on each line of what you want me to embroider. Make sure you pay attention and write upper or lower case. See, I wrote F-A-U, like Florida Atlantic University. So a capital F, capital A, capital U. If I was writing my name and I wanted it a big T, little I, little N, however you want it. See how I have lowercase letters here? You have to write it the way you want me to do it. Because you're not going to be here when I do it probably. And I don't want to mess it up. So be precise and clear on this. Next, you're gonna determine which style. So if you come over, remember my sample? I have this hanging up on the board. And the first sample choice you have is monogram. Monogram looks like this, monogram. Typically a monogram is last name in the center, first name on the left, 
middle name on the right. That is a classic monogram. So if that's what you want, you would have wrote, you would have checked this and you would have put, like my sample, T M R. Sorry, wrong. T R M because T R M, that's the order it goes. All right, so make sure that you put your monogram there. That's three letters. Your next option is initials. So maybe you don't want monogram, maybe you just want three initials. Now this is initials, that's first name, middle name, last name. Those are called initials, that's not called a monogram, that's initials. So if you want initials, first name, middle name, last name, three letters, and you would write them up on the, those lines. Your other option, one big initial, like that. One big large initial. You would just write that large initial right there. Maybe you want a short word up to five letters, like love, L-O-V-E, or how I put F-A-U, however you want that. You can determine that as well. Short word, up to five letters. The example I have is right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a little bit more, but it fits. So if it's small, and they're smaller letters, and they're lowercase, I could probably put six in. Then you determine which font. Do you want block or script? Monogram only comes like this. It's called a vine monogram. This is block. This is block. This is script. So I can put a script big letter. If you want a big S or a big R, it'd be script. It's not gonna be as fancy as this. That's just for monogram. But it kind of looks like this, script. So you have script style, you have block style. There you go, script and block. So you can check which one of those. Then you determine which thread color, black, white, or navy. On my example, I only use black and white, but now I have navy for you too. So if you want navy, I can do that. So again, make sure you prep your fabric. Make sure you fill this out completely and accurately with your name and your block so I can do it for you the way you want. Thanks, have fun.